Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Joe. This is soon to be no longer my Python run. Um, I found someone willing to take them all. But before they get here and before having to give them away, just wanted to do one last video and just um just put out there um ever since I brought home my first reptile Nina these animals have been just more than just animals to me. They've been like my best friends. And um, I know to a lot of people that might sound funny, that might sound weird, because they're reptiles, you know? But to someone such as myself, you know, it's a big deal, you know? Especially being able to keep them, to be able to raise them, handle them, and watch them grow. And now, um, I myself... I wanted to uh, to start my own rescue. It was one of, one of my dreams ever since bringing home my first one, but now having to get rid of them, honestly, I don't know if I'll ever get a, another reptile. I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever bring one home or back into my life. I know a couple of the uh, big breeders out there have even, I've, I've tried to reach out to them for help to see if they would take these guys. And uh, you know, I just wanna say shame on, on you and you all know who you are, where you only will answer people's questions if they're on your Patreon page, like, you know, keeping these reptiles and being a part of the reptile community. It's all about helping one another, sharing advice with one another, being, a, being there to support one another. Not, oh, I'll support you, but only unless you're sending me $5 a month. You know, the gecko, as you guys remember, I I got him from a pet store. Found him all skinny, all shriveled up, you know. And, well, you've seen him lately on my Facebook. Well, now I got a new Facebook. On my Instagram, I got a new Instagram too. But... After these guys go, I'm gonna be deleting everything, except for my YouTube. I'm gonna leave this. I'm gonna leave this up, just in case someday in the future I do decide to bring another reptile into my life. But one thing I never really got to uh, formally do was introduce you guys to Onyx. He's a boa constrictor. I got him from a co-worker. A co-worker that didn't have time for him. Couldn't care for him anymore. And regardless of my situation, I was still able to feed him. I was still able to give him fresh water. I was still able to give him fresh bedding. 
and as well as my time. It just sucks that literally I just put him in that tank just yesterday. Because when I first got him, when I first brought him home, I had him kept in my spear 20 gallon tank. Just until I got the tank and until I got it situated where blacked out the sides, blacked out the back, cleaned it all and whatnot. And um, yeah, now I got to turn around and say, say goodbye to him. But luckily I didn't get attached to him. But then again, I wasn't really given an opportunity to get attached to him. You know, one thing. Charlie girl. Sorry. I know I'm going to miss her the most. And I think that's only because of the way that she is. And the amount of time that I spend with her, handling her, and just hanging out with her, she really is an amazing snake. And That's the purpose of me making this video for any of you out there, for all of you out there. These animals, they're just misunderstood. That's all. If you actually spend some time with them, you'll learn that they don't, that you just misunderstood. They're not dangerous. They're not. They're not out to harm, to hurt humans in any way. For all of those incidences where they found a snake next to a child or next to a body, it wasn't because the animal was sizing up the body. No. The animal was probably just cold trying to get warm, something like that. Don't always believe what you hear, especially something like that. Especially if you don't have any experience with these animals. And to anyone out there bringing home your first reptile, good, good for you. Congratulations. But now you gotta think long and hard. If this animal is right for you for the rest of its life. Because these animals, they can live in captivity for up to 30, 40 years if kept properly. And it's not, it's not fair to the animal to go from one place to another place to another place to another place. You know, it's just not. So do your research. Try to do your research before you even bring home the reptile. And try to make sure you already have the proper size cage, proper size tank for, for the animal. Because if you don't have the proper size cage or tank, and you bring it home and you put it in something too small, it's only gonna cause more stress on the animal eventually. Well, I 
I just want to say, you know, thank you guys for watching my channel. If you have, thank you all for subscribing to my channel, the ones that did. And um, I'll see you around, I guess.